Welcome back to my new uh, tutorial about uh, Flutter and in this tutorial my topic of discussion is going to be I will be teaching you about how to set up your uh, Android emulator in uh, your IDE for Flutter app development right so uh, so how do you, we set up your uh, Android emulator so I'll be going to talk about this and I will be launching I will be teaching you how to set up your Android emulator so let's not waste the time and let's go directly to it okay so first we go to our Android studio then you go uh, and open your um, like uh, device manager right and then when you create uh, you open your device manager you have all these devices set up so you can create uh, your new devices uh, so let me create a new device uh, so um, actually there are different devices as you can as you know uh, that uh, emulator is a virtual machine it's, a, it's like a virtual uh, device right so we are uh, so this virtual device actually uh, takes a lot of memory so uh, usually the suggested uh, emulated device is Nexus 6 okay it's a suggested one because um, uh, it has already a uh, inbuilt hardware accelerator uh, accelerator so which help you uh, uh, us to uh, create our uh, perform your uh, like uh, uh, your emu like which helps in the performance it has a performance build up right so that means it's it's gonna perform much fast uh, like better faster than the other emulator so I suggest to use Nexus 6 then we click the next one now we have to select the operating system the suggested one is um, of API level 30 which is because much recent and uh, which is Android Google uh, Android 11 okay uh, then pretty much we are good to go so we can even rename our virtual device name with whatever name you want to give you can just name it here you can even change your yeah you can change your uh, like uh, the your device like you know if you want to change that's it but I am I just want to film I'm uh, I just want to create for Nexus 6 of uh, and like the Android 11 so I don't want to change so you can st uh, st uh, just select also the startup orientation landscape or portrait but I su suggest the portrait one and also the another important thing is like if you want your emulator to perform much faster and much better I suggest to, is to use the hardware GLES because it is um, uh, it is like uh, it uses your um, your computer's graphic card for faster rendering your UI so that's how it is so then you click finish so after you click the finish your emulator will be created I have already created the emulator so I don't want to recreate it again so now once you create your emulator you can just select your emulator and based on like uh, where you want to install your um, this uh, uh, for flutter tutorial applications uh, as you can s no, uh, see here like we have different directories each directories is dedicated for each um, uh, platform like for this is for Android platform this is for iOS platform and this is for the web platform as you can see here so each packages are like the directories are dedicated for each platforms right so I'm gonna test here for Android and the web so first let's test for the Android okay so I select the Android emulator I run the applications so yeah finally it's done so so right as you can see here the the test application the flutter demo home page as you can see here it's a very simple counter uh, application so you can increase your counter and it's every abs absolutely everything is written in flutter as you can see here i'll be going in detail about the flutter app development later on so this is of the coming next tutorial uh, uh, tutorial topics but uh, for the moment we are uh, pretty much concerned on um, set up your virtual machine so that's it guys so we are pretty much done with set uh, setting up uh, android emulator so now let's uh, go and run also uh, in a uh, chrome okay so like our web applications okay so as you see your projects you can select your project uh, and you can create a multi platform apps so it's like a multi platform right so uh, like android ios and web application in the same source code so that this is amazing guys so let's uh, run um, 
the Chrome app, I mean the web app. As you can see here, it's launching on a Chrome in a debug mode and waiting for connections. And uh, let's hope everything's gonna be fine. Uh, so it's still running. And here is the magic, the magic is coming, guys. And the good thing is, is the setup is so so fast guys it is a such a fast setup and everything already pre 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 set up you know so as you can see this is our web application with the same source code i didn't change anything guys so as you can see here same source code with uh, android and web right so this is the magic guys of flutter 3.0 so if you if you like if you enjoy such kind of contents please do subscribe consider subscribing me and let's get um, uh, and follow me and sub follow me so that i will be coming up with uh, multiple uh, tutorials regarding flutter thank you